Hello and welcome back to Cooking with Zebby. My mom gave me this selection of random vegetables. We do have uh, red pepper, we do have uh, zucchini, we do have two carrots, we do have some uh, green beans. And um, yeah, in today's episode we will learn how to prepare a delicious meal with a selection of random vegetables. So let's get started. However, I won't start with those vegetables, no, no. I will start with an onion, with some garlic, as well as some ginger. Those, those three vegetables, those three ingredients are my favorite ingredients and they have to be part of every meal. Let's start with the onion. I have added the frying pan as well as this bowl and I do this because I like to separate all the vegetables I will now prepare as some of them, such as this onion or this, this orange stick, they are rather hard. So they take longer to cook than maybe softer things like this zucchini. In this case I like to separate the things that need to cook a little bit longer and throw them right away into the frying pan and those things that I like to add later to the mix into the bowl so that I always do have a free space to cut everything, to prepare everything. Let's start. Let's start with the onion. First of all, I mean the onion, you can't use the onion like this, there's this, this peel on it. We do have to remove the peel, so quickly just cut away the top, cut away the bottom. And then it's all about just removing the, the first layer, or the first two layers, depending in what a shape the, the onion is. And boom, the onion is uh, ready for further preparation as usual. Cut everything into smaller pieces, because by cutting things into smaller pieces you add some uh, more surface to all the ingredients, and by adding more surface it's way easier to cook them and to prepare them. And so this is what we will do now with this onion. So I guess I will just start by cutting the onion into half. This is a very easy thing. And I think I'll just like to dice the onion. I do use a simple trick. I'd first add some uh, slices to the onion in uh, this horizontal fashion. Then I cut in in this vertical way. Once I da have done this, all I need to do is to just cut the rest of the onion and I get lots of ideal little onion dices, onion cubes, that I can uh, throw into the frying pan once I am done with it. So let's, let's repeat this. As I said, very easy process. All right, onion is ready. Let's just throw it into the frying pan because the onion belongs to those things you want to boil for a long time. So don't add them too late, just add them right away to the mix. Next up is the garlic. Here I think I will go for one, two. Oh, let's, let's go for three pieces because this gives you strength, this gives you power if you do add lots of garlic as usual. We dealt with garlic lots of time. Just remove the outer layer. Garlic is ready. Let's just, as I said, cut it also into little pieces. Here once again I first quarter the, the garlic and then I chop it into those little, little garlic pieces. All right, garlic is done insert it into the frying pan. Next up, my next favorite ingredient I said, the ginger. Let's cut away a nice piece, hopefully, and as usual remove the peel. The peel has been removed. Let's once again do the same thing, just cut everything into little pieces and throw it into the frying pan.
Okay, next up. The orange sticks also take a long time to, to be cooked. So I like to prepare them next. First just remove the ends of it. Then we need to deal a little bit with the peel. Just, just use this peeling device and quickly peel the carrots. Once again with the orange sticks, chop them up. I already showed you the trick in a previous video. First I like to create some uh, smaller sticks out of the, the big sticks. And uh, once I do have the smaller sticks, I like to just cut them up so that I get those little pieces. They are ideal. They are ideal for being fried, for being cooked. Then it does not take as long to prepare the, the orange stick. All right, we are done with the, with the carrots. Let's throw them into the frying pan. Next up I like to prepare is the zucchini. I like to start with the zucchini because the zucchini will be the last vegetable that goes into the frying pan. And so I like it to be at the bottom of the of the bowl so that not the other other things are blocking it. As usual I do this the same process as with the carrot. I at first create a quarter of the quarter sticks of the, the zucchini and then I just cut them into thin slice slices. You can of course start frying the, the vegetables now but um, if you're new to cooking or if you're still not used to it, it's still better to um, take some time and to prepare all the vegetables before starting to fry anything because otherwise you will it will end in a stressful situation. Next up. Next up the red pepper. I always cut away the, the top of it. This gives me access to the inner part. Here I just cut away the elements that keep the, the seeds in their place and carefully pull it out. As you can see, nearly all seeds are removed at once without the risk of well having lots of seeds inside of your inside of your red pepper, which is always a bad thing. Well, it's not always a bad thing, but it's an annoying thing when you're trying to remove everything. All right, let's do the usual, usual thing. We all know about it. Cut everything into small pieces. Well, this is, I guess, the, the most important thing you need to remember from this video. No matter what kind of vegetable you have, just Cut it into little pieces and this will definitely help help you with whatever you want to do. Okay. They go in here. And with this we come to the last thing, the green beans. The green beans, uh, I think they are a little bit too long for just throwing them into, into the frying pan as they are. So I think I like to yeah cut cut them into three to three to two pieces depending on the size of the green bean. I think this is a good size. Uh, yeah, just just aim for well, what, what is a good good measurement? Aim for the length of your finger or so. I guess this could be unless you do have really small hands. This could be a good good measurement for for the beans. All right, as you can see, we now do have a decent, decent mix of vegetables. The frying pan is ready with the carrots, with the garlic, with the, with the ginger and the onion. So now I just need to clear my stove and we are ready to start frying things up. The frying pan is ready. Let's start with the stove. Maximum power, hopefully. And now it is time to add some oil. 
I will go for olive oil because I think olive oil works best for vegetables. And now it's time to wait for the cooking process to begin. When it starts to sizzle, it's the perfect time to start stirring it up a bit, making sure that everything is nicely mixed up. And uh, now, now I'm waiting a little bit for the onions. The onions are my, my main indicator for showing me when I like to do something else because at first the onions are just white and as you cook them, as you fry them up a little bit, they will turn, well not really transparent, but they won't be as white anymore if you're really waiting for this moment. If you really want to see the onions changing a little bit from white to well, somewhat transparent, less white color. And then I think it's, it's the perfect moment, the perfect time to add in some more ingredients to the mix. The onions are less white. This means it's now the perfect moment to add the next ingredients to it. I like to add the beans as well as the red pepper to it and give it a good stir so that we can also start to fry those things up a bit. I fried the vegetables for about five minutes. They start to get a little bit soft already, but it's still a long way to go. So it's the perfect time to add the zucchini to the mix. Just stir everything up. So let's let's just add. Uh, how much of coconut? 400 milliliters. Let's add 400 milliliters of coconut milk to the mix. And by doing so, the entire process, the frying process, turns into a boiling process. Now all the vegetables will be boiled in uh, coconut milk, which is really amazing, which is great. It gives a nice taste to it, it gives a nice flavor to it. While we're waiting for the vegetables to be ready, we can prepare the rice. So pot, rice, twice as, as much water and set to boil. Also add some salt. When the rice starts to boil, just cut the heat and Cover the pot with a lid and let it sit until all the water is gone. When the vegetables start to get soft, I like to add some seasoning to it. I start with some sea salt. So let's just add some sea salt to the mix. Let's add a generous amount of sea salt to it, like this. This looks good. Also, let's add some black pepper to it. Very nice. And give everything a stir. This looks good. This looks very good. We just need to do something about the rather soupy and liquidy state of the vegetable mix. So, we will add some uh, flour to it to make the sauce a little bit thicker. Right, some uh, flour. Let's give it a quick mix. And then we are almost good to serve the dish. Okay, I already added the rice to the dish. Now I just need to get uh, some of the vegetable mix and put it on top of the rice and just like this you can turn a selection of random vegetables into a delicious meal just cut everything up throw it into a frying pan and you're good to go i hope you enjoyed this video and as always bon appetit